this is the Hardcore Mode Challenge Round 2 between me and Mr. Vitigus. And I hopefully... Okay, good. I did not leave off somewhere in the wilderness. Because that would confuse me as to what I am doing. Which is looking for obsidian. Someone suggested, I think it was Goodsman, Good, Goodman's Ghost, suggested I should uh, get a... Oh, I look funny. A uh, bucket of lava and sort of make a block by block, sort of make the lava into obsidian to make a portal that way. I would have to find some uh, lava to do that, but I should go ahead and make a bucket. Uh, two. Well, I think you can make a uh, infinite pool of lava. I'm not sure if you can or not. So maybe I should go ahead and see if I can. I don't think you can actually. Not at least not in the way that you do water. So I'll take two buckets with me. Oh, I was sprinting. I don't want to do that. But, uh, I was looking for caves, and I wasn't really finding them over there, so I'm going to try this mountain area over here. Is it a fresh day? It's, no, it's about halfway. That's alright. I just like to use the, uh, well, is it going up or down? It's going up, so it's kind of a fresh day. But, so will I find a cave? That almost looks like a torch over there, but that's a flower if you can see that or not. I can barely see it on my resolution. I'm really not sure what kind of resolution uh, you guys are getting when you watch this on YouTube because uh, my computer that I use, I use a laptop, has a wide screen so I can't, so anything I watch on YouTube is widescreen and has like the uh, letterbox you know the black bars on the side or either on the top they're like either called letterbox or letter columns I really hate them but I've grown to I guess just live with it but I'm not sure if like other people are seeing them. I've asked other people and they said that they weren't seeing any of those black bars, so I'm not really, I don't concern myself about it anymore, but I did when I first got this computer spend a good, like, three hours trying to find a way to fix it. So is this a cave? Well, let's just do weird light glitch. So there's a, there's another kind of like me mesa thing that's interesting. That must be another weird light glitch. And these are just uh, overhanging areas. They're not... He's not following me, right? Well, if he does, he'll die. So doesn't matter. There have got to be caves somewhere around here. I must be just like missing them. Because there are, there are always caves. And cause if I don't find a cave in this video, I'm gonna get like I'm gonna dig down or something. Well, that's peculiar. Whoa, that is weird. What is this? Huh. I've never seen a uh, formation like that. Looked almost like someone had been there. But. Oh, gee. Well, here's a cave. <laughs> a very small one, but. Oh, hey. We found a cave. <laughs> Not exactly the way I would like to, but. I'll heal. So, 
how am I gonna... I'm gonna need an entrance, so... This isn't really as close as I would like it to be, but... Who knows, maybe I'll make a... I don't want to do that. I don't want to make waste iron on building a track. Maybe I'll find a mine and use the uh, tracks in there to build a railway to this cave, if this cave is good for... if it's a good cave system. I don't care what it is, as long as it's got uh, obsidian right now. Because that's what I need, or, or lava. Oh, preferably diamonds and obsidian. I already, I already found a cave that has obsidian, I remember now. I was kind of looking for diamonds, so that's why I was looking for a, oh, a good cave system. Ah. This might be a good one, though, because it's already going pretty deep. And, you know, the deeper, the, I don't know, in my way that I've noticed that the deeper a cave goes, the more likely it is to be a large cave system. Yeah, it's a sheer drop. But this is oh make it like oh no, don't do that. Where's my cobble? There we go. And do I have enough? Yeah, I got plenty of stuff for torches and whatnot. How deep does this go? Wow, this is a very deep shaft. Well, no, it's not very deep, it is... Okay, I thought I was digging down longer. It's probably because I'm just taking a while to get down there. Still, it's kind of deep. Hopefully there's a cave system at the bottom. So otherwise, this is kind of a waste of time. too much time on this series, or in this challenge as well, it's kind of wasting the time of which I could be using to get resources. Speaking of which, uh, me and Vidicus finally, like halfway through this, or in the middle of this series, uh, agreed to a point system for uh, resources, which would be uh, iron blocks equal one point, uh, gold blocks equal four points, and diamond blocks equal sixteen points, and dying uh, results in a penalty of points equal to your level. So if I were to die right now, I would lose seven points. And I would have negative seven points overall because I have not made any blocks of any kind. Diamond, gold, iron, whatever. I've got iron to do that, but I don't have the nether yet, so I'm not going to bother storing or building points out of the iron I've made. And we go down this way. Oh. And already I hear trouble. this up. So this does look like it's going to be a good cave system. I can hear I can hear trouble already. I'll just leave a bunch of torches here so I know this is the entrance. I should make... oh! Ayo! Gold! Oh! Danger. Someone down here. Shit. I need a better sword for this. Here comes a skeleton. And a zombie. Come on. Uh, so based on the point penalty for dying, I guess it would be a good idea to 
avoid fighting mobs, or even at least avoid gathering their uh, experience orbs, so that in the event or the chance that I do die, it will cause me less points. And the reason why we have like a point penalty for uh, like dying is so that it doesn't automatically exclude you from winning. And except for like the last round, I I don't contest having lost that round because I died and neither of us really gathered any resources, certainly not blocks. Crap. So it would with like a default situation like that where neither of us have gathered any resources that would count as points, you know, whoever dies, I guess, would lose, or whoever has the lowest score, I guess, like, so, you know, round one was, we haven't really established the rules that we have now, we just sort of said, hey, let's do a hardcore challenge, see who can gather the most resources, but we didn't really get far enough in the first round. Looking for either diamonds or lava. And I'll take this iron as I go, though. And some coal, I guess. I don't know how much coal I got stored up. I need to work out a storage system at my base, but. Well. Not really. I don't need a system. I probably need just maybe a big chest or two, since I'm going to be storing the resources that I, like the point resources uh, in the nether, as the agreed rules between me and Viticus. And, which you should also check out his, uh, his video, I'll put a link when he uploads his video, that equates to this one. Originally we were uh, trying to upload them at the same time, but uh, we both don't have uh, the schedule doesn't always work out. Viticus isn't always available. He has stuff going on too, and I have a full-time job, so it's kind of turned into you know just upload and put a link once the other guy is uploaded. What I need is a sword. So I'll just put a crafting table there. Don't need to waste any iron on something as frivolous as what was it? Cup. As a well, as a sword. Ow. I guess also you could use, you could reduce the chances of, uh, who's shooting at me, man? Oh, it's, okay. Chances of, uh, point penalties upon death by enchanting stuff. So, I don't know, maybe we'll change the rules later. But, uh, we agreed to this last night, so, it seems pretty fair. It doesn't favor one person or the other, which is it, ooh, the important part. There's an Enderman somewhere. But that's okay. I think Endermen are going to be the bane of my existence, so I'm going to avoid them completely. Ooh, I don't really have iron, do I? That's not good. Or an iron pick, I mean, my pick's almost gone. Should maybe make some stone ones. Ooh, Lapi Lazuli. Uh, it's not really a point resource, so I don't think I'll waste my inventory space on it. But... Uh, I don't know, I was just thinking uh, about whether or not we should, in future challenges, include Lapi Lazuli as a resource that you gather for points, but... I don't see the point, I guess. 
Ooh, there's a creeper. I want to go down more. So, so they can either find lava or diamonds, because I think at the current level I am at is not adequate for that. Uh, systems. At least this is a cave system, so he's trying to get at me. And at least this is a cave system and not just a small cave that doesn't lead into other caves. And hope the Enderman isn't around this corner. Oh crap, I'm going to need this iron pick for the diamond, if I find one. I mean, I could, I could build a, a furnace and cook some of this iron I got, but I'll just try and save some iron, I guess. I only need three diamonds. Ooh, wow. I only need three diamonds to uh, get this guy, so... Or, what am I talking about? Ugh. Three diamonds to get obsidian, except just to make a pick. Diamond pick. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, after I get a bit of this uh, coal here, I'm going to end. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you... Thank you for watching.